Alright, so this road, nice and easy. Except when it's not. Yeah, wow, he didn't like that at all. Welcome, Stalker. Welcome. Welcome to episode 96 of the Loner to Legend Crafting Challenge. This is Blondie speaking. I hope you're doing well. We are doing fine. We're doing fine. Just fine. Just picking up our sleeping bag because we are deep inside the center zona. We are so deep inside the center zona, we are inside the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Well, not technically, I suppose that's not what this area is, but we get in there. We're definitely in a dangerous place, as the bodies will tell you. And now, this episode, we are going to clean house. We're going to have a look around, we're going to have a poke around, we're just going to... Just going to have some fun shooting some dudes, and hopefully not getting ourselves too shot up in the process. Sounds like a win to me. That's going to be a closed door. But welcome. I hope you're all well. Hello, cheeky breaky. Oh, there's the cheeky breaky. I see them. We're gonna get straight into it, peeps. Look at them. Oh. Yes, more like this. They're really not happy. I think we got that guy. Oh, there's a lot of them. Look at them all. There's a lot of them. Hey, little fella. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, look at them all. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, this hallway is an absolute cluster. Oh, come on, cheeky bricky. Play chicken with me. Got him. Come on. Come on, my son. There are so many people down there. This guy's just looting bodies too, you guarantee he's like, yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. He's just enjoying life, picking up the scraps. Come on, down you come, down you come. Must be a lot of them in this room here. Finally. Finally, the rock has come home. How are we looking for ammo and stuff? Slimming down a little bit on the white rounds, this is fine. Because we have a shotgun which we can play with very shortly. Look at all those bodies. God damn. Oh, there's a guy in here. Wow. Cheeky breaky. Eat it. Asshole. That was cheeky breaky. 94%. I think we can. I think we can squeeze a little bit more out of this suit. Maybe another encounter or two. Let's just loot this guy first. Those guys aren't coming out of the room, they're just going to be really coy about it. Hey, look at that, we got repair gear, we got... Nathas. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. 
They are just being very, very coy down there, aren't they? Look at that. Huh? Could absolutely sniper this. Now, I think the reason they're not actually coming out is because... Okay, I saw a flashlight up there. I have to be a little bit careful here. There isn't a lot of cover. Some, but not enough. He's like, what the fuck just happened? Buddy? Are you still alive? Yet. Yeah, they see us. Okay, he's got himself a rifle. That's going to be a laugh. Come on, my fella. Okay, he's gonna come out of here, maybe? Nope, he's gonna come out of here. Okay, we got him, that was a headshot, but he's not gonna go down that easy. That one did. This guy's gonna come out here again. Okay, he's gonna try and shoot us through the gap. That's cheeky. <laughs> Got him. I think there's another guy down there. Yes. Come on, click, clickety click. Let's have a look at our rounds here. Um, 25. No, let's swap out. Not as happy with the black rounds. They seem to be less effective, at least. That's how it feels. Oi, 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 oi. Alright, we took a bit of damage to the suit. No, we didn't, apparently. 85%, that's going to need a repair. And we cannot. 87%. Oh, that's 90%. What's wrong with your face? This one will have to do. Alright, we need... That'll do. That will fit just fine. Always use supportive material when you're repairing stuff, kids. Let's get some food in us. And some drink. We'll do all the big boy stuff. You better believe we're gonna loot the crap out of these guys. But we do not care about that. Um, okay, we need drinky. Drinky. Thank you. Cool. That gets rid of another bottle. That is a good thing. Alright. Ah, let's disassemble you. Now, for those who aren't aware, we're disassembling any weapons that have the upgrade symbol. To hopefully, there's a small chance that you can get back... Uh, the upgrades which are installed. At least one, sometimes more. Maybe more? I don't know. Maybe it's just one. But anyway, we want that. We want that to happen. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about the single hammer mode. Alright, let's push on, shall we? Not gonna bother with mines. Or do I? Because they do sell pretty decently. Okay, no one in here. These guys, I was going to say they've been looted, but they haven't. They really haven't. And this looks like a hammer. Very cool. Some people were asking about my choice of Saiga over the hammer. It's it's a personal preference. 
Oh, I don't like the way that clicks when, when you loot. Makes me think someone's just dropped a grenade at our feet. Really noivish. This guy's got himself an exo. Don't really want to break it down for this, to be honest. Uh, but this... I absolutely will break down. Okay, what do we got here? Got a gas tube K. I don't think we need these anymore, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Yeah, this guy's been stripped. Field stripped. What do we got here? That's a gaggle of fun. Right there. Look at these guys. Look at them all. Alright, I think, yeah, we're mostly good here. Okay, not gonna play the game with me. Very well. And I'm just gonna pop this pistol in as well. Seems like a good way to go. Now, let's just take a stock of our rounds here. Um, 43, yeah, we got shitloads. We are fine, baby. Look at you with the big boy toys, huh? Wow. <laughs> Look at all this. What the? No, that is not for you, my friend. That is just, that is not for you. Oh, wow, these are upgraded too, both of them. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to disassemble one of these, and we're going to disassemble the next one. Roll me an upgrade. We did. We got one. Barrel external threading components basic. Um, this one. This one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, hello. And that one gave us nothing, but that's fine. going to grab all this gear. Um, I don't want anyone to pick that up either, so we're going to disassemble this. Very nice. Ammo is all money and usables, so that's all coming with us. This guy's just looted probably the guys all up in the corner there. That's why he's so full of gear. I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, let's grab this. Anything that actually looks like it's in half decent condition. This we can use for repairs, so that is coming with. Uh, I'm going to pass on the barrels, they're really, they're way too much. Not worth our time. And that could potentially be good for cleaning, but I think we're okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's pick up some weapons, holy crap we got some weapons. There's another one. Oh. Ha, <laughs> you cheeky bastard. <laughs> okay, there'll be probably dudes up there as well. Look at this, look at this. Holy crap. So many of them. Um, let's just go back here, actually. I'm just going to pop all the weapons on this guy. And we'll just unload them here. Disassemble, because that's too powerful. No weapon for you, friend. That can stay. That's fine. This one, not so much. We have a Scar H. Not quite so happy about leaving that one behind for some idiot to pick up. We'll take that. And that. And this one, actually we did say we were going to disassemble this one for parts, didn't we? These are going to be in really crappy condition, I can tell. What's this one? 15%? Ooh, maybe does require one of these barrels. Let's just disassemble it and we'll see what we get. Uh, we got a few things. <laughs> these are more curiosities than anything else. Probably be the first things we dump if we get out of here. Sorry, when we get out of here. Uh, I didn't just pick that up, did I? God damn it. Let's disassemble. This guy had a nozzle on him. Too bad it did not help. Let's grab all this gear. <clears throat> Lots of cleaning equipment, which is very sexy. Now, a nozzle is not going to have 
the components we need either for some of our crafting. There are just a couple of things left we need to craft. Uh, we still haven't fully upgraded our own nozzle. We're getting there. Hey, you've got some matches. We are getting there. Let's disassemble you. Uh, I'll take all of this stuff. Batteries, hell yeah. Alright, we're starting to creep up in weight, which was expected. We're actually pretty close to the start. I could go back, drop all of this stuff off, and come back again. And that's just charcoal. We don't need that. I'm very tempted to do this. Oh well, wow. this guy's got a Barrett. Look at this. Wow. That would actually be pretty cool to repair. Uh, you know, there's a few things like this kicking around. Not for this playthrough, though. Yet. Just saw someone in the comments the other day commenting on how they've been playing for X number of hours and haven't found a Barrett. That must have been painful to watch, I'm sorry. Not done intentionally to tease you, I promise. Okay, we'll grab those. So I feel like what we can do, because we're not quite at capacity yet, we can potentially head up a little more and loot the bodies in here, because we popped a few guys in here. So we'll try and fill up our, fill up our pockets as much as we can, and then we'll continue. We'll go back, sorry drop in our stash stuff. That sounds like a plan. Peekaboo. Okay, we're at 94%. Oh my. That's a disassembling. This might be the straw that breaks the camel's back here, so... Let's just grab this gear and skedaddle. Yeah, that's pushed us over. Alright. This is it. We'll just... We'll take this stuff back with us. Bom, bom, bom. This will let the health refill a little bit as well. Get a bit of regen going there. These guys won't respawn, not for a while. Fairly confident. Not 100% confident, I'm just fairly confident. So we haven't come that far. So we're going to head back out again. Drop this stuff in the stash because it's just there. Just outside. Uh, we are pulling a little bit away. I wonder if we can reduce this somehow. Probably could by repairing this actually. Let's have a look at our Saiga. Let's repair this. Let's Let's do that now. Bop, 4%. Where is the dirty underwear? I always thought I could clean with the dirty underwear. Is that not the case? Can I not patch dirty underwear onto my, onto my nozzle? So disappointed. That'll do. Very disappointed in your game. Why can't I wear my ass on the outside? stairs we go. There are some people who don't like this aspect of Stalker, this backwards and forwards grinding for loot. This is all me, baby. I love this shit, so it's what's going to happen. Don't worry, we're going to go straight back down there as soon as I drop this stuff off. There'll be more shooty shooty bang bangs. Oh yes. There may even be more shooty shooty bang bangs up here if they catch wind of us. I'm going to try to avoid that if we can. Okay, let's drop this stuff off. All the heavy stuff. We don't need this stuff. Don't need these. We don't use those. <clears throat> All of this can be stashed. These will be quite heavy. So they will happily go into the stash. We only need a couple of nades. We don't need quite so many cleaning kits. We've got so many.
just getting rid of the duplicates, triplicates. Now we actually got, look at this, now we got all of the gun oils. Because of course we do. I'm going to bring two with me. Leave the mine here. Just trying to be mindful that our back is facing the enemy. Not always the best idea. All of this can stay. I just put something in I want to keep. That one stays with us. That can go. I'm going to leave some of the monolith to patches. We don't need quite so many, but I'm just wouldn't mind just having a couple in the inventory, just in case. We decided to do a bit of sneaky breaky. Someone dropped some coke for us, which was very, very nice. Uh, gee, we don't need quite so many of this. All right, I think that's pretty well optimized our loadout. Still going to bring the sniper rifle because I think that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to play with. Uh, you know what? Where's this grease? Where's the grease at? Here. Let's just repair this um, multi-tool real quick. Because it's going to get a workout then. Oh, it's using the hops cleaning solvent. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. 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 That can go back in because we don't need that anymore. Let's head back in. Oh. No freeze. That's just transitioned me. God damn it. That's a really awkward transition point. To go all the way down there. I must be, maybe it's clipping into the wall or something. I don't know what's going on there. Did not mean to do that. That's really stupid. Really stupid. Gonna get back down there. We're gonna get our loot game on. Gonna finish cleaning up these tunnels. Cheeky ain't gonna break you no longer. Gonna push toward the sarcophagus. Like I said, the sarcophagus is gonna be the absolute last episode. Before we do any of that, we're gonna be building our cash up to 1 million rubles so we can hit that mark. That is where I'd like to be. And so there will be a few episodes, and there'll be an ulterior motive for the um, the crafting and the the looting and the extra little grind just near the end. Um, I will have just moved house and time may be a little bit fluid for me. I may not have all the time in the world to record in the short term, so it'll be nice to just chip away at that goal. Like I said, I'm not pushing to get it finished, but I'm also not deliberately trying to drag it out either. Wow, it's just hanging there. That's... That's impressive. Can I bump it? I can. <laughs> I can play. Alright, so the bodies are still here. Weapons are still here. Guys are still very dead. This is fine. This is expected. This is as it was. Did we loot you? We did. Alright, so this was the last guy that we popped. Cheeky breakies. What they're normally... They're expecting an assault from this direction forward. So normally you'd come in through the sarcophagus and you would head into um, this area here from the sarcophagus. And so these guys would all be facing you. They'd all be waiting for you. Like a bunch of absolute assholes. And it'd be a, a hard fought battle to get through all of these tunnels. Absolute slog. We are coming in from the back and so we are catching everyone unawares. It is grand. Nothing? For reals? Alright, we're just gonna... Waiting for some asshole to pop their head out this way. Let's just switch the light off, eh? Don't think that's anyone down there in there. Nope, that's rubble. That's a do- uh, that's... that's more rubble. I swear there was an RPG guy here as well. Like... 
Монолит. All right. Just gotta be careful of the ambushes down here, peeps. What is that? Is that just rubble? What is it? Okay, it's a panel. Gonna loot this guy. Grab all the gear. On the gear, mate. Done. Is that just a random radio on the ground? So, there was a crate that just... That is an actual radio, right? It is, okay. Oof. Had me worried, I thought maybe it was an explosive, like a planted explosive. That would have been crappy. Alright, so these are more dudes that we gassed down here. I'm not hearing people, but that doesn't really mean much. Down here. Down here, time loses all meaning. All right, we're just gonna go through room by room, clear it. I'm not expecting there to be too many people down here. Lots of dead people. Lots of dead people. That's where we were sniping from down the end there. Alright. So we got bodies here. Just gonna butt up against this for a little bit of protection. It's not much, but it's something. This is actually in really good condition too. Look at that, 37%. Same with this. 41%. Damn. We don't need any of this stuff, though. The nades are handy in an area like this, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Grab all this gear. On the gear, mate. Now, what did I just pick up? Well, well, well. La di da. This guy had a nozzle, that's why he was eating rounds like a champ. Okay, we'll grab all of this stuff. We'll grab the food because it's sellable. Uh, there's no point looking at this. Right. How about you, friend? You have a pistol. Got an upgrade for me? You do. My man. Here we go. And lots of steel wool. This is good stuff. Ooh, we got an echo detector too. That can be upgraded and sold for a mint. Okay, let's pop on the old light. He's an old light. Okay, I think we're good this way, we're good this way. I'm gonna head down here first because there was a little... Oh no, there's nothing here. Let me out! There's nothing here, it's just the hallway. I am kind of surprised that we popped all of these dudes, that this is all there is. I thought there was more. There we go, we'll take the radio. Um... This is Sliverman. This is the cheeky breaky Sliverman. Nope, not that one. We want to keep that one. That one's mine. Ooh, okay. This one's got stuff. Let's break you down. Not much. Let's break you down as well. Okay, so we got a few rounds extra rounds for our sniper rifle. Very nice. 
Gonna grab all of this stuff. Let's move on. There's a lot of dudes down here, man. A lot of dudes. So that's where we were shooting from just here. Yep, this guy's got an upgraded weapon too. Let's disassemble. Okay, so we didn't get an upgrade kit on that one. That's fine. Let's oh, get down. Grab all of that gear. He's got some prayers, yep. Let's have a read. Let's have a read of the Monolita prayer. Okay, straight into the PD-8, fine. Yep, we can do that. Uh, it's in guide. Okay, so we got all three of the Monolita prayers. Oh, Monolita, we are praying to you. Oh, wow, that's that's a lot of stuff. Our only hope at redemption. Vrag, Monolita. Not this time, friends. Alright, so this looks like our way out. This could be a transition point. It certainly looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's going to transition us into the sarcophagus, I think. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, we're heading back. Like I said, the sarcophagus is a special episode at the end. And we just got, a, I don't know if you guys noticed that, we just got an achievement because we've visited all regions of the zone. So we're not officially complete with the visitation. We still need to check out the sarcophagus. We don't just walk into a place and go, yeah, we're done. But we got some unique stash coordinates. And I think, because I've never investigated those, we may actually just have some fun checking those out. I don't know whether we'll do that this episode, because we might ferry the stash stuff back um, to a better restock point, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll make an episode out of going to check out those stashes. I don't actually know where they are on the map. Let's have a look. Oops. Let's have a quick squiz, shall we? Okay, where are the stashes? They could be just about anywhere. definitely said unique stashes, but I don't know what that actually means. Was that one there? Uh, someone to pick them up. Could potentially be one of them. I'd expect them to be purple stashes at a bare minimum. Ooh, this one here. Had to leave the backpack. Where else did we've got one there? The Dear Soldier's Backpack. What else have we got up here? Nothing in Lamansk. Nothing in the Deserted Hospital. So I can see three purples. Uh, do we get a task? No, we don't. Let's just check... Um, Let's just check out Unlocked, where are we? Tourist. Explored all access- yeah, so it's this achievement here. Despite the dangers, you have explored all accessible parts of the zone, from the murky depths of the Great Swamp to the alien landscape of the Generators. You know the zone like the back of your hand. Well, that's not quite true, but yes, I get the sentiment. You ha- uh, you- your- your- <laughs> you are your- come on, people. Your keen familiarity with, uh, your- I get you, I get you now. Your keen familiarity with the zone has allowed you to deduce the whereabouts of some of its best stashes. Alright, so it must be the purple stashes, I'm pretty sure. Must be the purple stashes. Um, that will be... That will be fun for another episode. So many bodies, oh my god. That is an awkward angle to be bending at, my... God, both these knees just broke or something. That's disgusting. 
That's filthy. Um, where are we going? We're we going this way. This away. Okay. So this area is done, this area is explored. We came, we saw, we conquered. God damn did we conquer. What are you like? 95%? You're fine. Quit your crying. Sweet. Like I said, if you came in from the opposite direction, if you came in from the sarcophagus, all of these guys would be facing your direction. We actually sort of ambushed them a little bit by coming in behind them. Behind where they would normally expect you to be coming from. Which is kind of surprising because we've been wreaking havoc up here for a while now. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to... Don't trans... Don't you dare. Okay. Something about this wall, because I was pressing up against the wall and now it's just transitioned me. So maybe don't touch the wall. I think that might be the key. Apologies, peeps. Still trying to figure out the weird, strange abnormalities going on in the zone here. That's a funky one. Alright, so don't rub the wall. <laughs> No rubbing against the wall. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Really should have put this in a better location. Ay ay ay. Alright, let's grab our gear. Gonna grab as much of this as we can without going overburdened. Is the goal here. What are you? 1.4. 1.5. Yep. We can take a little bit more. What's this? This is 0.4. Could probably take something that's 0.1. Oh, <laughs> the journal was too much. Sure. Let's get out of here. Don't know why I changed the firing mode. It's just going to change on me again. So we're going to use the Zaton travel trick as well. It's only going to cost us four grand to go there and back again. We'll make all of that money back with the stashes, don't worry. We've got heaps of stuff that we can sell off. Plus, we'll go looking for these special stashes just to see what's in them. We'll take a, we'll take all the best things. We'll take a look. One of them's in radar too, goddamn. So we'll be making our money on the way through there. You best bet we'd be making money. Better believe. Change the firing mode again. I'm just going to swap this out for dirty buckshot. Uh, dirty buckshot. Dirty rounds. There we go. I make them sound like a dirty thing. They're really not. No point in repairing these rounds. You halve the number of rounds you get, and they don't do a really noticeable difference in damage. They do accelerate the poor condition of the gun slightly, but we've upgraded this weapon now. The SIG is not fully upgraded, but pretty close. So, any negatives that might have been caused by shooting all ammo are now far outweighed by all of the upgrades we got. No need to worry about this at all, in fact. Alright, I'm just going to pop a caffeine pill, because we are a little bit gassed. Weapon, please. Thank you. See if we got any military guys here. So we still have a bit of a hike to get back to. Need to get to the Skodovsk. Do we have anyone here? Nope, still not populated. Okay. It's fine. Makes our job relatively easy. Don't forget, we also have a stash over at the other entrance too has some gear in there. We got lots of goodies here. This is why I'm not too worried about spending a bit of cash to go to and fro. We'll make it all back. Will not be a problem. Oi. Looking at 
looking forward to it actually looking forward to seeing how much money we get from all of this gear that we've not just the stuff that we've got now but the stuff that's still in stashes that we were holding on to i have a feeling it's going to sell for a fair amount of cash because we've been collecting a lot of it all right we're going to be using trees for cover this area can have controllers And Bureaus and other nasties. We need to be careful. There was a pseudo giant over here as well, so we're going to try and avoid that. And there was also a piggy. He was kind of playing chicken with the pseudo giant. Maybe that stopped now. Maybe piggy got squished. Squished the piggy. Don't see the pseudo giant, and that's fine by me. We're not going to waste any time taking down pseudo giants. We're not going to waste any buckshot. We're not going to do anything like that. We're just heading straight back to the Skodovsk. Going to travel back to Jupiter, drop this gear off, or sell what we can, drop off the rest, and then we'll worry about it. <clears throat> we'll worry about getting back, collecting the rest of our stash. Now we won't need the backpack any uh, the backpack. We won't need the sleeping bag anymore. So we can pop that in our stash. All of the places we visit now, except for the sarcophagus, which will be well rested for anyway. All of these places uh, will have somewhere to sleep nearby. So not super fussed about that. There's this go green? I think it did. Oh. Did you see that? Bop. That means... That means that there's a controller nearby, potentially. Let's move on. We're moving on. Now, stalkers can sometimes camp in this plateau. You can spot them from up on this hill. If you've got binoculars or a sniper rifle. Can be worth going up there if you want a bit of extra kit just to go out there and assault them. Quite often you'll get monolitha and stuff up there. Now we just got to make sure we don't step into an anomaly. Easy to do in this territory. This is why I don't like the great swamps. All of these tall reeds. Very hard to see things. When you're first starting out as well, the water... Just, just put a foot in water, you'll be highly irradiated. Like, instantly. Water is bad, mojo baby. Okay, we got one there. That's fine. We're doing fine. Come on. Just close that, because it's making me super paranoid. Alright, now we can potentially sell some of this stuff off. I don't actually like selling to the guy here. Um, I would prefer to sell when we finally get back to Jupiter. So we are just going to go places. We're going to go to the Jupiter. We'll get dropped off there. We'll sell off all of the stuff we're currently holding, the stuff that we don't want to keep. We'll stash the rest. We'll stash the stuff that we no longer need to keep with us. So that will include sniper rifle and a few other things. And then we will head back for our stash. For the rest of our stash. We should have a bit more space to play with. And then we'll have to think about the stash. Maybe we've got time for the stash yep. at the very entrance. Yeah, whatever, man. Okay, so we voiced the... We got all the drinks. We voiced the... Come on. Friend. Friend. Football friend. This stuff we don't need. So we're going to sell all of this stuff. This stuff sells quite nicely. We don't need the medium armor repair kit. We've got nothing to repair. Going to get rid of all of these rounds. Not needed. See, look at this. We've already made our cash back and then some it within the first few per within the first few sales. Nuts. Absolute lunacy. Uh, we don't need... 
it's the ball rounds we want to keep. So it's this one, NATO AP, and this one. Yep, so everything else needs to go. They need to go. Lots of silences. They sell quite nicely. They can go. These we don't need, but we're going to sell these uh, at the technician. I'm tempted to sell these grenades as well. If I sell them, how much more? Ooh, wow. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. That we're going to keep on us because we can upgrade that and then sell it. Um, this we can sell. The, um, the anti-personnel mine. Gonna sell this food, we don't need it. These we'll hold on to because we can do like a mutant run. Get rid of all of these. These old rounds, I don't actually expect we're gonna do anything with them. So I'm gonna sell that. Hmm, we did actually pick up some food, did not realize. Uh, what else have we got here? I think that's it for right now. For right here at this vendor. Bang, so we just made 10 grand. Easy. We haven't even sold the upgrade kits yet. Yes. Okay. So we don't need any of this stuff. This can all go. Man, that sells low. That sells nicely. That sells pretty nicely. Yeah, not too bad. So we've got a chunk of cash. And we do actually need one of these. So we're going to grab one. Alright, so... Oh yeah, we've got some parts here as well. Single fire mode, we don't need... Uh, I don't think we need that. And I'm pretty sure we don't need that. That'll do. Bang. Alright, so we're almost at the 600,000 mark. Let's drop the rest of this gear off. Hop. Let's start with the gear gear. Stuff we don't necessarily need to chuck in here to get rid of the industrial grease. Going to keep this because this is good for um, supportive material for repairs. Uh, same with these, but I'm just going to keep one. Not going to bother selling all of this stuff just yet. We're just going to do the stash stuff this episode. Uh, let's get rid of you and you. Not going to keep the hops cleaning solvent. We don't need two of these. That can stay. We'll keep two of these because they're actually pretty useful. Bob join you so we're just optimizing our layer oh we are actually kind of low on bolts i should have should have grabbed more should have been grabbing more i should say let's pop the sniper rifle and the sleeping bag back because that will buy us back a fair bit of space uh, i am tempted to put these back as well i'm gonna put one back just in case we stumble across an artifact that we want to carry just in case okay uh, what else have we got here? What else can stay? I think this is mostly good. So we got food, we got energy drinks. Alright, that's all fine. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Pop the steel wool in here. I'm pretty sure we, we must have surpassed steel wool requirements. That must be a thing now. Yeah, I don't think we'd need anything. I'll need to check my uh, list, which I'll do offline. Don't you worry. Okay, so we got two full boxes of matches. That's very nice. Done. Let's go. You could argue that I could leave the pistol behind, but uh, no. I would like to bring it with me. Now, you're going to take me... Yeah, it's going to have to be back to Zaton, I suppose. Damn it. This is the cheapest, but there is a little bit of manual travel involved. It's fine though, because it gives us maybe a little bit of loot opportunity on the way through. If we happen to get so lucky. I'm hoping that we can grab all of the stash that's left there. But we'll see how we go. And here we are. Hmm. Did I get a notification saying that an emission had occurred? Because there was an anomaly there and now it's gone. Very confused. 
These things happen. St I still think there's something funky going on with my emissions. Unless it's the achievement, playing Havoc, there is an achievement that you can get if you be if you survive enough emissions where you get like a a percentage chance to not have to worry about being undercover in an emission. But even then we haven't really seen any emissions come through. I don't know whether it's manifests that way. Like that's how the benefit works. I don't know. Don't know. I still think it's very strange. Okay, so we're just going to run back to our previous stash. If we need to take some um, illicit substances to get the rest of our stash here, we will. If we can get it done in one trip. But we'll see how we go. There is a lot of stuff that we collected. It's looking... what is the time? It's looking pretty dark. Yep, okay. Approaching evening, yeah, it's getting darker as we speak. It's fine, it does not deter us. We have... we have cover, we have beds close by, we can survive. We'll be fine. Just gonna use this barrier as cover, so we also gotta drop off here if something gets line of sight on us. Like a... oh, yep, pseudo-giant. And the boar, looks like the boar. Yeah. Playing tag with each other. We're going to avoid the both of them. If we can. The pseudo will see us. And so will the boar. Just going to avoid the boar. Because the boar is just trying to avoid the pseudo giant. Let's just avoid everyone. Freaking boar. You need to bugger off, my friend. Not too many anomalies around here, as far as I'm aware. Still plenty of wildlife, though, as you've seen. Just checking, just to make sure. Okay. All right, this is good. This is good. We're in a really good position now. I'm curious to know how much we're going to make from all of this stuff, though. How much money? Because I think there's a few artifacts that we haven't even sold off. Sure, there's no one here. That would be awkward. It's been done. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, looks good. Gonna avoid Monolita over at their entrance there. We don't need to save. Traveling through areas um, as we go through the transition pops an auto save for us, so we'll be fine. Come on. Gonna see if I can get this done in one load. That'd be ideal. And then potentially we look at um, getting the other one back at the other power plant entrance. The way we came back this way. Try and get that stash as well. There's enough in there that we'll need to come back for another full trip, I think. Just for that one. But let's not bite off more than we can chew. Let's see how much we can carry from this run. I hear noises and I don't know what it is. Sounds like a, something getting attacked. Okay.
All right, so we've got we've got some rounds, I think, to carry back. Oh, we've got a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Lots of junk that we've found. That needs to stop. Yeah, well, we've got upgrades as well. Hot damn. Look at all the nades. They will sell very nicely. Alright, we can actually optimize some of this loot as well. Just gonna slowly give us back all of the stuff that we want and we'll see how much it comes to because all of these parts are probably going away a bit oh wow well. yeah we got mutant parts and everything this is easily another trip I was going to say look at that like a pseudo giant hide alone is going to cost us a fair bit that's point nine that's point one that weighs nothing. Could probably grab all of those. Could probably grab all of those too. Nope. Did not like. Just looking at my weight down here. I just want to get that back into the yellow. Okay, there we are. So we still have some stuff to come back for. This was to be expected. Alright, so we have at least one more trip up here. There won't be a huge amount to carry back, but because of all the mutant parts that we've got, it's it's costing us. It's costing us time. I'll try and make this part as quick as possible. Always a lot of crows around here. God damn. All right, we're actually going to pop another caffeine pill, I think. Just give us a little bit of a boost. Little bits help. If you throw away the caffeine pills, you know, that's, that's your choice. But I happen to think they're really helpful. Just a tiny little boost. As long as you're managing your inventory right and you're not going over the load limit, like you're just under. Popping a pill can make a just enough of a difference. Can sustain you for just that little bit longer. They don't last a super long time, so if you need to pop something stronger, you can just wait for it to wear off and suck down, I don't know, a Hercules or something else. Caffeine drink. Those don't offer the biggest carry bonuses or stamina bonuses though. Really, you're looking at EpiPens and Coke and stuff like that. I don't think we need to run around with grenades. So we're just going to gonna go back the way we came. I have roughly another hour of recording I can potentially do this morning. But I just want to get all of these stashes relocated, so I think we'll focus on that for this episode and then we'll worry about the rest for the next episode come on my son boom that sounded that's a thing that's a bureau we're just gonna leave let's try and get outside of his influence it's not the it's not the first time that he spawned there either. First time we came out through Zaton, into Zaton through um, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, there was a Bura in the tree line just sitting there watching us. Creepy little bastard. He didn't do anything. But he was there. So we're just running away from the Bura. I don't really want to get into a fight with him. Just want to get this gear back. It is starting to get quite dark now. Can still see fairly well. 
so we will be transferring some of this stuff in the dark. That's fine. I'm going to try not to burn too many batteries. I mean, we can afford to now that we're back into civilization. And we do have a lot of batteries in our stashes. But still. Alright, let's recoup some stamina. Don't normally like going down below a third. You need at least a little bit for maneuvering, especially when you're this overburdened. Because we are running heavy. Look at our carry weight. We're in the orange down the bottom right hand corner here. That means we are overburdened. We are feeling the effects of being overburdened. You can see that our stamina burns down quicker. Takes longer to regen. But if you manage it well, if you manage it smartly, and if you manage your weight smartly, you can maximize your load and minimize the effects. I think it's really weird how they place these sound bites at random locations around the environment. Like it, it kind of relies on you being still or remaining in a location. But because we're running, we just ran right through the location making the sound and there was nothing there. Really weird. All right, we're going to pop on some night vision because walking through here in the dark is a pain. Okay, we're we almost there. Where there's noise here that sounds like a poltergeist. Like that high pitched buzzing. Nope, it's just the lights in the Skadovsk. That's really strange. Alright, let's uh no we don't need we don't need you to tell us about yourself. We need to travel. Just take me places, need to go to Jupiter. Okay. Another drinky. Aye. So we'll do basically the same thing again. We'll sell off the stuff we don't need to keep. And the rest we will stash for crafting and other activities. Yes, something like this. Um, okay. These I don't think we need any more of, but I'm just going to keep them in the stash anyway, just to be sure. Uh, the basket we will actually keep. These we will get rid of. Uh, that we will sell to ecologists for a very nice sum. Alright, so this stuff we can probably sell now. get rid of these these can go let's get rid of all of this all can go we don't need any of this so already you know 6200 which is quite nice pop all right This stuff, well, this we can sell. This I'm pretty sure we don't need anymore. I will have to check my sheet, but that we can sell next episode potentially. Same with this one. Pretty sure we don't need any more of the gas pistons. Oh, fine tuning, maybe, do we? They're keepers. That one's a keeper. Pop them all in the stash anyway, just to be sure. And always sell them later if we need to. Oh, wow, the nades. We should have sold the nades. We'll go back and do that in a tick. Um, let's get the other sellables. So these will sell because there's far too many of them. That can drop back into the stash. Same with all of this. No need to keep that with us anymore. We'll just... We won't... We shouldn't need it. 
we've got far too many of those. They can go back. Same with all this stuff. We don't need quite so many of all this gear. Lots of batteries. I think we'll just stick with five. Thank you very much. We only need one of these. Gee, it really hits home just how much gear you get when you look at all this stuff. Holy crap. They can stay. We don't need those. We've got the grooming kits right here. They can be used to break stuff down. All right, let's go and sell off the nades. And then we'll go back for our other stashes. Those nades will sell quite well. You watch. Boom. Not bad. Almost paid for both trips. Okay, friend, we need to go back again. Back to the future. Привет, брат. So we've got that one last stash run up in the northern CNPP. And then we've got the other stash at the entrance to the CNPP. And I think it would probably probably be worth heading back through Zaton after we grab that stash again. So we'll get both of these stashes if we can. And we'll head back through the Zaton checkpoint. Quicker, easier, cheaper. And darker. Hot. Okay, there go the batteries. Let's get out of here. If I'd been on top of my battery consumption, I could have taken that out just before it ran out of juice. The reason I like doing that is because those batteries combined with the, the Gauss rounds, the Gauss rounds, um, you can create new batteries from them for the for the ghost rifle so it doesn't matter how much charge is in the battery or the batteries if you're using them for crafting as long as they have at least some charge they're basically treated like full charge for some strange reason um, so you can craft a fully charged battery out of them okay we're taking a slightly longer way around this time Potentially avoid that controller if he's still down there. These guys have moved on. Bop. Let's make sure we're not getting charged from up the hill. Wonder if that that bureau will still be here. I think. Pretty sure. We may have to fight it on the way through. That's fine. We'll manage. Plenty of rounds. As long as he doesn't rip our guns out of our hand. Really annoying when they do that. And after we've done some stash hunting in future episodes, some crafting, we can go and do some artifact hunting if we've still got some money to make up. If nothing else, these sorts of areas are really good for artifact hunting. say I saw something running around that's it. still that goddamn boar can you go away just waiting for the moment where he suddenly turns on us he could he's had plenty of opportunities don't know where the bureau's gone maybe the pseudo giant got him Be on. Nope, there he is. Ah, yep. You're really annoying me. Alright, let's just see if we can get away. Where are my weapons? I was gonna say. Piss off. 
that's the worst that they do really just kind of suck your stamina so you can't run away and try and rip away your weapons which is really freaking annoying now did he actually do any damage on this no not really that's just us shooting I think the stamina thing's annoying because once you're once he taps your stamina, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. No running. Not that we're that concerned. Okay, so we got a bit in the last stash. We got a little bit more. Damn, it's dark here now. And this will be one of the last trips we make up here for a little bit. So we go and get a bit of extra cash. I hear something. What was that? Atmosphere? Probably just atmosphere. I hope there's not too much in the other stash. <laughs> just thinking about that now. We've got too much in the other stash. That could be a problem. I want to try and get it all done in one hit, if we can. Okay, nice and clear down here, which is nice. Nothing around these bushes. It's so empty out here. So empty. Don't worry, we'll be done with this section very shortly. Making good money though, I like it. Boom. Alright, so Zaton will be our X fill. We'll grab this stash, then we'll go and grab the other stash, or what we can of the other stash. Okay, we got people running around up there. We're not going to bother with that. We are just going to grab the stash. And run. There's a lot of stuff in that stash. The mutant parts really push the weight up really quickly. All of the skins and stuff like that, they weigh a fair bit. And we've got a few of them now. We took down, what, a, whole, a bunch of pseudo giants. We took down a bunch of chimeras. So we've got all of that loot, the meat and stuff. We've got it all. And it weighs a ton. This chimera horn, point two, so. Got a bureau hand is quite. Okay, so the Sci Sucker skin is 1.17. Pseudo giant hides, we've got two of those, 2.19. Let's get ourselves on the right path here. Now uh, we got a controller brain, which is 1.5. Pseudo giant eyes actually fairly cheap in terms of storage. All of this stuff adds up, man. As you can see. What's this? Hunt <laughs> Chimera hearts, two kilos. It's just nuts. So there's a fair amount of stuff here, and this stuff as well, all of these components weigh a bit. If we have to, we'll just drop components. In fact, you know what, let's just drop that. Okay, they're all looking good. Drop to your knees. That's looking pretty garbage. Uh, we'll keep it, just in case. Gas should be... That's looking garbage. Okay, stuff like this. The energy drink will keep us going for a bit. It's 
quite handy. So we'll go and check out this other stash. Actually don't know why we're carrying this. That can go. Now we just need to be careful up here. Mutants may have respawned. That's an anomaly. This is potential cover if we get ambushed or attacked by anything. That's an anomaly. Okay, we're kind of following this comet a little bit. I'm hoping there's not too much stuff up here that's going to stop us. I'm just going to follow this road. It's relatively safe. Just being a little bit careful. That's a poltergeist. I'm just going to avoid him up here. He's avoidable, we don't care about him. Famous last words as he smacks me with like a gas container or some shit. Slap. Alright, so this road, nice and easy. Except when it's not. Yeah, wow, he didn't like that at all. That's it? Is there another guy there? Wow, he was just, he was right there, man. He was not. There is another guy there. Oof, man, that hurt. Let's go. These guys must have been... These guys must have been spawning in. Didn't mean to get into shooty shooty bang bangs with these guys, but here we are. Okay, we got another one. Oh no, that's a comet. Jesus. Got him. How many of these assholes are there? It's like a squad of what? Five? Did I kill five? I did. Five dudes here. Wow. We're getting, getting shot at from somewhere. Just gonna back up a little bit. There he is. They were waiting for us, man. They they were ready to rumble. There's another one out there. You're kidding me. Far out, man. Yeah. Trying to bar me from getting to my stash. Uh, what have we got for food? Let's eat you. You 
people nuts. Alright, let's see what they got on. This guy had a grenade launcher. Don't think this guy's shooting at us. Let's grab all this gear. Come on, man, I'm double clicking. Don't make me click again. Yeah, this is going to push us over, all of this gear. Guaranteed. It's all good, right? These guys are coming in from somewhere. What are they fighting over there? God damn. Got a guy here, so I'm just trying to just trying to disassemble all this stuff real quick. Uh, I can unload that. These guys are gonna make their way over here fairly quickly. One of them has a shit. One of them has a high-powered rifle, at the very least. I don't need details, I just need you to do your job. Thank you. Alright, we're going to go out and loot the rest of these guys. Just keeping an eye out here. Okay. There's a lamp couple of lamps. I'm gonna say we popped a couple of guys here. That's not at us, pretty sure. I don't know what they're shooting at over there. Gonna give this one a wide berth. Okay, so there's this guy down here. Yep, he's got all this stuff. Look at this guy. Gonna grab all this gear. Skedaddle. So now they all decide to populate down here. How typical is that? How typical is that? With all the gear that we have, we could potentially go back now. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to. Drop that in there. How's that looking? 63%. I think we could probably use one of these. Sure. Those guys are coming toward us. I can see them. So there's two ways we can play this. I think we're going to play it this way though, they're gonna shoot at us. I'm gonna head back the way we came through Zaton, seeing as we've got all of this extra loot. And we're gonna have to come back for this stash. Uh, can I join any of this stuff? I can. I mean, damn man, there's just so much gear.
It's all good stuff. I'm just gonna pop another caffeine pill. gonna go around this poltergeist just because we kind of need the stamina and he could potentially chase us down if he really wanted to and then we'd be forced to kill him this is fine I mean it's not the end of the world okay Comet's coming back is it gonna come along this road I think it is Go along the back here. Just gonna stay well away from it. I strongly suspect that these guys are gonna come and man that checkpoint again. Which means we're gonna have to kill more dudes when we come back here. Oh no, more loot. More loot to get the loot. I think we'll end the episode after this run here. To me, that just makes a lot of sense. So much gear. Okay. Can't really run at this point because we are overburdened by a few kilos, uh, sorry, not even, not even a few kilos, by 0.3 kilos. So really, I think if we ate and drank, we'd probably be okay. Let's do that. What have we got in the way of Biddles? See, that's just 0.9. This. Let's eat this. And we're thirsty, of course. And we'll also drink. Between those two things, it should reduce our weight down just fine. Yep, we're now at 160.6, so now we can run. Okay, that's better. This is much better. in well that combat was unexpected given how we've walked through that checkpoint a number of times and there's been no one there now it's fully manned that is just kind of crazy so where did monolita all walk in from to man that checkpoint is my question because i always thought they spawned in around um, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Curious. Yes. Again, we're just going to do the cheeky breaky around this farmstead here. Just going to avoid it and the boar and a pseudo giant. Just going to run on the outside of this barrier too for a bit. Because, I mean, if the boar and the pseudo-giant cooperated with each other, they could kill us pretty quick, pretty easily if we, um, if we weren't expecting it. The boar could hit you to, like, a charge attack if it manages to land a charge attack, which slows you down significantly. And if the pseudo-giant was chasing you at the same time, it'd be enough to catch you and thump you. And then you just get locked into this cycle, this stunlock cycle of... Getting hit by the boar and the pseudo until you're dead. I'm just gonna jump on the outside of these rails. Yeah, there's nothing down there, we'll be fine.
Is that battery like 13%? We may have enough to make it to the Skodovsk. Let's see how we go. Once the Skodovsk is quiet. We visited this place a few times now this episode and no shooty shooty bang bang. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about, do go and watch previous episodes. The stuff that went on here. God oh, damn. Alright, this is us. Cool. Let's get out of here. Take me places. Need to go to Jupiter. So this is where we're going to rest up, settle up, sell off all of our gear, you know, get watered, all of that stuff. And we'll be ready for next episode where we have one more stash to collect and probably a monolith checkpoint to run through again. And uh, then we can start looking at exploring a bit and crafting and just getting our, our money, our cash up to snuff. Where are we now? I to say we should be pretty close to 600k. We will be after we sell all of this gear. Guaranteed. No. Look at this. Sellable. Sellable. We'll keep those. Uh, that's just an advance. We already have one of these. Uh, so we can sell that. These are sellable. That's sellable. This I don't think we need any more of. That can be sold. Uh, the meal can be sold. Ammo. Jewelry. Jewelry sells quite nicely. Very nice. I think oh, we can get rid of the welding goggles. They can go. Alright, I think in terms of syllables, that's probably about it. Maybe the basic sewing kit. And the harmonica. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Tiger. Alright. So as far as syllables go, that's probably... Uh, let's not forget the grenades. Done. Sold. Alright, so we got a bit of cash from that. Very nice. Let's go and sell these upgrade kits. Well, one of them at least. So we don't need that, we already have one of these. And for all of this stuff here, so... I did break some of these components down in an effort to repair one of these weapons. Which I think we may have left in the stash in outskirts. Yep, pretty sure we did. It's fine. I think what we're going to do... The stuff that I know is used for crafting, we're just going to drop in here. Uh, what's this one? Excellent. Cool. That's enough to craft another gas regulator now. We have enough components to finally do that. Um, but for the rest of this stuff, I'm just going to drop in one of each. So one of these... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is stuff we don't need. That one, that one. I'm fairly positive we probably won't need most of this stuff. Dropping one of those, one of those. Gas tube P. Pretty sure we ran out of gas tube P requirements a while ago. That needs to go in. That can stay. That can stay. I'm putting it in the wrong stash. God damn it. Screw it. I don't care anymore. And that one can stay there as well. Alright, so the rest of this stuff can be sold. 
Let's drop in all of this. So much gear. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can stay. Have some PDAs. We'll check those out in a second. I can stay in there. All right, repair kits. Got so many freaking repair kits now. There, okay, they could be, they could go for a little bit longer. I'm gonna drop these back in here because they weigh a bit. Don't need quite so many of those. Or these. Or that even. Do we have another energy drink? We do. Cool, grab one of those. Alright, so in terms of equipment, we're looking pretty good. Gonna put that buckshot back. Don't need it right now. Alright, that stuff is looking pretty good. Let's go and sell off the rest of this crap. Okay, let's get rid of all of this gear. That can go too. Don't care about that. Cool. So we've got heaps of stuff that we can sell off in these stashes here. Crafting material here. Stashes here. Actually, did I have an advanced in there? No, I didn't. Oh, sorry, a um, fine tuning. And so much gear here. Wow, so much gear. These are all sellable. We can sell all of these at some point. Brilliant. There's lots to do. It's good. It's cool. This is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm on Twitter. I have a Discord server. And I have another channel that does long-form video game analysis called Hey Blondie. Links for all of those are in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, if you're enjoying the series, do me a favor, fan the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. And drop into the comments and let me know what you think of, you know, not just this series, but your experiences in the zone. Always awesome to hear what you guys are up to. All of the new challenges and thing and information that you have to part impart about Stalker is really helpful. Uh, we can check our stats, I think. Probably doesn't hurt. Okay, so we just busted the 600,000 barrier. We're getting there. 400k left. Seems like a lot, but don't worry, we'll get there. And of course, we've been at the top for a long time and still pushing up. Interestingly, the next one down is another Free Stalker. We are setting an example and they are following. Oh yes. Brilliant. Love it. That's it. We go Betty Buys now. Until next time. Good hunting, stalker. <laughs>